Very good. Hello, everyone. Let's see if this is actually working. Yes, we are. Okay, so I am going to be playing Battle for West Uh, Heir to the Throne. I did this apparently seven months ago, but I never actually. I only got two missions into it and didn't finish it. So, for the foreseeable future, that's what I will be doing on these streams is playing this game and hopefully surviving and not fucking this up. Now, as on screen, you should see a death re redo counter. Um, that's how many times I can redo um, each fucking mission. And by redo, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But basically, you're able to turn back a turn. That's basically what it is. If I need to restart a mission for whatever, I'm just going to fucking restart it. Um, we're doing default RNG. All of this shit. No. And we're doing it on Commander. I have technically done this campaign and beaten it one time when I was, like, 10. Um, and I did... Another one, like, a year and a half ago, where I got somewhere in the middle. Uh, the challenging difficulty is basically just how much bullshit you have to go through. So we're just going to play on normal. I like every good person should. In the 28th year of the reign of Grand II, King of West North, the kingdom was plunged into a bitter war with the Orcs of the North. The northern host encamped at Galric by a ford of Abazin. I can't say names. And the king led his forces to meet them, splitting his army in two. He led one half, while his son, the crown prince, Eldar, led the other. Eldar was a brave and courageous warrior, able to lead his soldiers well. Unfortunately for Gerard, his son was also ambitious and treacherous. In the heat of battle, Eldar's men turned on the king, and so Gerard was slain in the battle that day, along with his brother and all of his sons. But Eldred. Grenard's queen, Ashvin, looked with glee, having come to watch the battle from a nearby hill. The rule of her son would surely satisfy her lesser power far better than her husband had. In exchange for tribute, the warlord of, of the north happily made peace with Eldrin. The warlord of the north. Okay. I'm assuming it's the day it's up here. Uh, who proclaimed himself king and led his army south towards Weldon. Weldon. But Gerard, Archmage, Delphador, had escaped had escaped the battle, riding with haste, reaching Weldon first. He must muster a force of loyalists to fight Eldridge and avenge the king's death. The loyalist army marched north to meet Eldrin. Eldrin made war upon Delphador and his forces with his mother's advice ringing in his ear. Fight no one greater, great or small, except an old mage whose head should be Soldiers, blah, 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 they cut his fucking head off. And Eldridge did indeed meet Duffledore face to face in battle in the hinterlands north of Tar. Sword slashing against staff, and the wise old mage fought the brass young warrior and kicked his ass. In the end, Duffledore's men defeated and rooted, but Alshvar found her son's lifeless body fixed to the ground by the great staff's mage. Wow, this bitch really did just impale him. I like that. Alshred herself then took command of the army and led it back to Weld, and knowing the king's young nephew were next in line, she ordered all of them killed and declared herself queen of Wesnaf. Soon after Alshred orders Delphador, he secretly entered the palace of Sulkhan right away, the youngest of Drawer's nephews, thereby saving him from death. I know actually what his origin is, but I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but you're going to have to watch for fucking like <laughs> 20 fucking episodes apparently. Fleeing to the Aether Wood beyond the sole south western border of West Off Delphador raises the child, Conrad under the protection of the elves. Watching watching sadly as Alfred's reign of terror over the land began. Or in the Aether Wood. Okay. Twenty years into rural Ashford turned her attention into the woods of the elves living in the great forest southwest of Westnoff, whom she despised. Orcish mercenaries were hired and dispatched to bring about their ruin. Master Delphidor! Look! There are orc wait, I should do it in my voice. <coughs> I think I just talk then. Master Delphidor, look, there are orcs coming from all directions. What shall we do? There are too many to fight. 
Far too many. We must escape. But where? But to where? This is the only no home we have known. What about the elves? We will... F <coughs> we will fight them, but you must escape, Conrad. It is imperative that you succeed. Oh, God. I need a, I'm just doing a deep voice for him, too. Okay. We will go north. Perhaps we can reach the Isles of Alduin. If we can make it there, surely we'll be safe. Conrad, we must recruit some elves to help us. And then you must make it to the signpost of the northwest. I will protect you. Hello, Dr. Cool. Very well. Let's us hurt. Attack the elves. My grunts will take the villagers. Let us claim this land for the queen. Haha, <laughs> I will rip the filthy elves to pieces. Let them come. We will fight with all we have. Be careful, Conrad. Colonel Will, Alvador. Do not spend your life here. I can't say their name. Chardonnay. Someone must warn the North Elves. The war we so long feared has begun. Okay. So. I'll check the audio level and just make sure I don't fucking destroy everything. Okay, so. This is not a difficult campaign. By the way, welcome Mr. Cool, or Dr. Cool. If you would like yourself named, you can do so. You just tell me which one of these four. You have an archer? Is this some sort of niche manic MRPG with no players? No, Zier. This is a hard motherfucking game. And we were playing a campaign with 23 scenarios, which means you could spawn into maps 23 times, which is a very fucking long time. If any of you wish to be named, uh, tell me which one of these you would like to be. The archers are better. The fighters are okay. The elvish scouts are... Well, you'll fucking survive the whole campaign if you play a scout. And the shamans are very, very good. But first... We have to get the fuck out of here. So, our objective is to reach this bullshit. Now, I don't know or didn't know this, but... Table. There we go. You can actually check how much gold they have. As you can see, they have a fuck ton of gold, and we have not. So, I'm going to recruit a whole bunch of fucking elves. How many villages do we have? I have quite a lot, actually. Oh my god, they spawn with trolls. So, I'll continue to explain game mechanics as we play. Um, just know that this game is quite fucking unforgiving and hard as fuck. Uh, ha! They have troll warriors. Even better. Well, okay, well, we're not going that far. I have four gold. Hmm. Can you name a shaman Lin from the Great Forest? I played a long warp campaign as an elven mage. Sure! Intelligent, resilient. Is strong, resilient. Ooh. Okay, I think warrior sounds good. Give him a name. Okay. So. Just mind you that this is level one, so you may very well die. But I will try to remember. Okay, wait. Okay. Wait, so you want me to type a Lin from the Great Forest? You let me know. I'm just gonna just put Lin for now. But if you want me to add the prefix, I will. I'll be a warrior named Ambus. Okay. Wow, they're all strong and dexterous. Okay. Bet. Play a warrior. Okay, I will get to you... Eventually, probably.
For now, Dr. Cool, I will name you this, and then if I actually get a warrior, I will name it for you. Oh, oh fuck. A. Is there multiplayer for this game? Technically, yes. Are there multiplayer campaigns? Technically, yes. But they're not like this level of campaign. Like you can't work together and co-op with the with a person and play this campaign. You can play a very specific campaign. Only one though. It's a full name, you know, medieval guy from X. You are a female, by the way, Zier, just so uh we're clear. And I need to get the fuck out of here. Run, boys! Run! Okay, so I'll start explaining. So, these fucking villages out here basically is how you get gold. That's what this month thing up here is basically your income. For every village you capture, you get two. Every unit costs upkeep. I think it's one. It's something. Um, I'll figure it out eventually. I don't really need to know it. And this is your actual gold count. So this is this is how much you can recruit units. So you, when you bring them in, this is how much they cost. This is how much they upkeep. This is how much you make per turn. So what? These are elves. Yes. And elves are very good in forests. They are dog shit absolutely everywhere else, which is the majority of the fucking game. Which is why we're going to have a very fucking fun time playing. Send a shaman there, because you're not really needed for a while. I don't even think you can beat all of them. And now you can. So all we have to do is get to the signpost at the top. It's actually not that bad. Because we can't actually beat this. Um, it's too much gold they have. While we wait, you could ask me medieval questions. It is kind of my speciality. Or any military question in general is also technically my speciality. Oh my god, he got the wolf? Okay, so these big motherfuckers right here, these called troll warriors, they regenerate, which means they get their health back every turn. And they do a fuck ton of damage. Um, they can do like close to 30 damage, which is about as much health as each one of you has one hit which is not good it's not good uh, i will tell you that it is not fucking good to get hit by one of those <laughs> also there's a day night cycle um, they do less damage during the day, and they do a lot more fucking damage at night. And it's about to be night, so you can imagine my stress level is about to go through the roof. Go, Conrad, go! These villages are obscured. If only it was at 4 a.m., see? Now, they're gonna start doing 25% more fucking damage in the nighttime. And as you can see, every. the elves that technically get a disadvantage in any daytime or nighttime, 
but that means that they, uh... Only a fool would dare attack me! I'll let this turn finish before I fucking start speaking. That's gonna hurt. That's a fucking assassin. And 20 damage. See, look at that. That fucking immediately gone. 10 damage. Okay, so now it is nighttime. So now they're gonna do 25% more fucking damage. They weren't doing much damage. So this is now gonna do 26 fucking damage, I did. Um, yeah. So also this little bar down here means their experience level. If a unit gets enough kills by last hitting things, they get experience. You have to think of the old fucking MMORPG systems where you did get XP unless you got the last hit. And that's how this game is designed because this game came out in 2003 and that was the norm back then. So, you have to last hit everything if you want any fucking experience from, well, pretty much all anything you want. Uh, just how you fucking level up. And this is gonna hurt real bad. So. Burn in fire! I have definitely all the great prepared to die! <laughs> Only a fool oppose me. safe. We can take this fucker down. Alright, Lynn. I need you to do your job. Okay, so, technically, I want to try and will this guy down. <laughs> That works. I was gonna have Lynn actually hit the fucking last wolf because, again, last hitting is very nice. Especially because you need to really level up your fucking shamans because they're the only ones that can heal you. They're very squishy. <laughs> Look at that. Is 
down. May actually quite a significant amount of money. This is important because this money technically carries over every fucking scenario. That's why you need money. And my ally is dead. Okay. Well, this is great. But Is level two. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, they're burning our shit down. Oh no, they're destroying our homes. There can be no looking back. We must go quickly. My entire line up there was dead. So that's not good. Go, elves. Or Narnia. Thank the Lord, it's now daytime and I don't get fucking deck wiped anymore. I don't have to fucking keep losing my shit. Okay. So, Conrad, you need to just go on autopilot. Okay. Thank you. That's all we can do again. Yes, sir. And they're gonna have to keep burning our shit down. Oh, no, there goes the buildings. Oh, we went after the fucking shaman. Oh, 
I guess. <laughs> He's completely fucking surrounded. Okay. Now, this fish is very fucking easy. It's very, very fucking easy. There's no fly here anymore because he is dead. And I don't get no income. That and all of his fucking units are dead, anyway, so it really it really doesn't matter. But that's basically how you take them out when you're spawning. You have to kill the fucking leader in their camp, which yeah. You do technically get XP if you attack, but it's not much. By not much, I mean like it's basically fucking one. like one XP. You need like 40 or something to level up. So. Kill him, I need to kill him. He's probably dead either way. This is actually, since I played this whole fucking. Since I played this whole campaign, this is actually the best I think I've ever seen the fucking AI actually do. Ever. Because they've almost won. Which is really abnormal, actually. Usually they get their ass beat. kind of a problem because um, I don't get any XP from this. Which is gonna hurt next scenario I sleep with. I'll tell you what. Very well we have made it this far but where do we go next? We must travel north and try to make it to the Isles of Adun. Hopefully we'll find a refuge there. Of course you're right, Delphidor, but what will become of the elves here? The elves will fight. They may even prevail, but I fear things do not bode well for them. Let us not speak of it now. Onward! Good luck, Conrad! Don't worry about us! We will fight as best we can! So, we got 102 gold in the bank. We finished four turns early, so each turn we finish early, we get 30 gold. So our total bonus is 120 gold. Our total gold is 222. We only carry over 40% of it. So we carry over 89 to the next scenario with the minimum amount of gold that you're supposed to get. Which, also we go from Aetherwood to the Blackport. We should be able to board a ship at Blackwater, but it seems the orcs are headed there too. Rebels hate to hate the Ashford are loyal to the memory of the king. Desperately hold the port as if one, the only place that you can, can ship supplies and weapons. So again, now we have 209 gold. This is why you technically want to try to get as much gold as fucking possible. In every scenario, so. Delvador, some orcs are following us. You missed my haste. Sir Kalen. 
Duffeldor, my old friend. We have heard you coming and of the attacks on the elves. It is good to see you again. Although I prefer not to be under such sad times. Conrad, this is Caelan, one of the mightiest horse lords and one of the few who is willing to oppose a dark crown. Rumor has it his lands has slain 50 men and 100 orcs. It seems the orcs have come here too. Try to rest from the port, trying to wrest this port from our hands. Our defenses are still weak, but reinforcements will soon arrive. Will you help fight them off until reinforcements arrive? With your help, we can hope we can fend them off, but you must not tarry here long, for your survival is even more important to our cause than the strength of the port. A ship is due here in two days. Sure, they'll be able to take you to safety. And the ship will take us to Alduin? Yes, we will set sail to the Isles of Alduin, my home, Conrad, and the home of many Magi. I will send one of my horsemen to serve under you. I offer you my support, Conrad, and the support of my men. From now on, you'll be able to recruit horsemen. Thank you, sir, but how shall I best use these horsemen? How are they different from elves? Elves may be the lord of the forest, but horsemen are powerful as well. On the plains, under the mid midday sun, they can fell even the toughest foes with sharp spears and under heavy hooves. Recruit the troops wisely, Conrad. Remember, you can recall experience used from past battles if you fight again. Greetings, young master. I pledge myself to your service at Haldor. Conrad, I know that Haldor does not seek gold upkeep. As a loyal unit, he fights for you solely out of loyalty to our cause. Such units are extremely valuable to take care of. Them. Okay. Well, basically, he's loyal, which means he doesn't require any upkeep. Now, this is a good thing because, as you can see, we technically have zero upkeep. Now, they are technically not as strong as other units because technically each unit gets two of these traits. So, a horseman that gets strong does more damage, okay? And if he has resilient, he can take more fucking damage. Um, so again, it's kind of just a trade-off. But really, loyal units are very hard to come by. They, you have to get them through story. And yes, they are very much worth keeping alive. Two there. Now, all units require, so as soon as you see, it takes one. Oh. Our upkeep is now two. So it's one gold per person, basically. Um, and you can recall units. You are doing it. Okay. Strong. Contextual. Okay. God damn, these fucking knights. Oh my god. Now, what the fuck is the objective? Defeat the enemy leader, early finish bonus, or resistance for 11 turns. I can technically kick his ass. Don't really want to, though, but I think I should. I am a fighter. I am a fighter. I am a fighter. So they're about to start hitting us now. So we're going to get in defense positions up on this fucking hill. I'm not gonna move. I can either recruit one more unit or I can get Kyra another one. And I think I'm gonna get Conrad another. Oh, 
common. Up here, common right this way. Now we need to wait for night time to be over, or at least delay their bullshit. This <laughs> Knights are, uh, very good. <laughs> Let's put it that way. They're very good on the attack. Defense, dog shit, but... Man, horsey band is down. want to try and attack this one. It is an open, open field. <laughs> Good enough for coming, work. Try and take him the fuck out. <coughs> Say that as I get the shit kicked out of me. Their leader is coming out here to play. Holy shit. Now we're just going to try and get as much XP for our other guys as fucking possible. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
This is actually fucking possible. There we go. Thank you for your help, friend. The ship should arrive soon and take you all the way. Should embark now. Safe voyages to you, friend. Rest assured that we will never surrender the voices of the Dark Queen. So what happened there is the fucking leader came out like a dipwit. They, they they very rarely do this. And attacked one of my guys. And this guy came over here and basically knocked... If you can kill their leader, the scenario basically ends. Um, which is very nice for us because now we have a fuck ton of gold. It usually doesn't happen. Ever. Ever. The Isles of Adun. To the party lands in the Isles of Adun. So this is Adun. It looks a little desolated. I fear so, Conrad. It. I fear so, Conrad. It seems the orcs have come here, even even here, here to a place where I was born, where I was trained. Who is that? Oh, a party of elves landed. We shall drive them into the sea. I should speak like that. <coughs> Fuck. I do not think the orcs will come here. This island used to be so beautiful. We must recapture it to harm. Oh, but. We have a lot of fucking bullshit to do this time. So, let's just get started. Okay, so. Loyal, I don't think any. Is it quick? Good. They're dexterous and intelligent. They're not amazing. found someone hiding in the village. My lord, I've been hiding in this village from orcs. Like many of the other mage out here, I pledge myself to your services. Let us move swiftly to recapture the island. Certainly. Let us join together against the evil ones. You can now recruit mage. What would be better? Down here for horsemen is better. So we're going down there. There. We're gonna need a lot of fucking recruits. It's not exactly easy to win this one, I would say. It's easy if you know what the fuck you're doing, but. Roll the dice on a shaman. It's quick and strong. It's not exactly useful. It's not exactly useful like, at all. But fuck it, it's a healer. Thank <laughs> you. 
in holy fire no, that's not great. no do a lot of fun go healer go I over No, not the horsey. A Lin from the Great Force is going to kill this bitch. Just like that. Neutral. Keep capturing fucking villages. And we're gonna get another... Strong resilient, there we go. Either way, he's almost fucking dead. <coughs> wow, they're not attacking. <laughs>
kidding? Another horse vinegar down there, and I'm out of money again. These whole shields up. Slow him the fuck down. Go, oh, my brothers, go. Okay, I think I have enough fucking gold. Then. Almost leveled up. Thirty-three gold a fucking turn. God damn. <laughs> Take his ass, Delphador. <laughs> now we're gonna try to farm as much as we fucking can. He should be able to kill him. Sacrifice yourself, mage. You are quick and strong. Sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Alright, he's a one hit. Go! Ah, bitch. This is my boomstick. Oh. 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 
Horseman, finish the job. Not exactly what the fuck I wanted. Maker's game with teachers, though. For Narnia. See, but Delphador, well, master, you've saved the island from the orcs. My apprentice, how did I- How did islands fall to such are these? You have not heard, Master Delphador. Ashravid is trying to control the entire western coast. She hired many orcs and sent them here. We were holding- They were holding me until a ship could arrive to take me to Weld and where I have stood trial for treason for training Magi. We have come to fight our forces at the Blackwater. Where else did she- has she attacked? She has taken control of the Bay of Pearls, long held by the mayor, and has turned them into slaves. There they dive for pearls, which she grows richer every day. There are even rumors she may break an ancient treaty and attack elsewhere. Can't we strike back at her? How many forces do we have at the Bay of Pearls? Can we take it back from her? We must indeed go there. Let us therefore rest here a little and set sail for Bay. Hopefully we'll defeat her forces there. 250 to go! 250 to go, boys! Alright, so you've done one mission, two, three, now we're at four. So this is the Bay of Pearl. It looks like those merfolk were working hard. Indeed, it does. It also looks like many, they have many, many troops. I should go to the bay and distract some of them and rest, and you rescue the rest of the merfolk. <laughs> no, Delphidor, you can't leave me! Here. Thank you for rescuing us. Now we can help you find the evil orcs, the main cave where the key most of our focus is in the northwest. Uh, go, my brothers. Freedom. How are the orcs? Let me at them. Free. Now we are free together. We get to stop the oppressors. So these are merfolk. They are only good in the water. And we're going to try and win with merfolk. Come, merfolk. Okay. Loyal and resilient. But boss, why are we all using bats and nagas? Because they didn't control the seas and the merfolk. And the nagas and bats are best doing that. But orcs are the most powerful rays in all of... Shut up, worm. I'm the boss. Free at last. Now death to the orcs.
try, and I say try. This is not going well. Intelligent resilience. Resilient in general. Okay, quick and dexterous on a fighter is trash. Quick and dexterous on a fighter is good. Strong and intelligent. Why not? Chum, brothers! Haha, <laughs> now orcs will rule over land and sea. Well, someone kill this idiot for me, please. <laughs> Need to go up here to get a. This is a lightning bolt trident, and then we free more people up there. Any good horseman? He's intelligent and strong. That's like. Intelligent. So again, we're trying not to fight them when they're full strike, which is what we want right now.
que... Rider. Okay, now I can actually go on the fucking offensive because it's no longer going to be nighttime. <laughs> but first, free our brothers. Get to the orcs. Come, my brother, and let us fight to drive them off our shores. Many of our brothers will die, but it's fine. Kill it! Kill that goddamn snake thing! time for the offense. All right, you're dexterous and strong. Which means you probably should be a fucking Launching a general offensive at this point. Kill it! There we go. Let's see who's gonna eat shit and die this time. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot. The AI will do that bullshit. Badass. 
Ve şunu çalacağım. This dude is dead either way. What well, doesn't really fucking matter. I don't really care about him because he's not much of a threat. So, in that case, you don't have a choice. <laughs> Survive. Get survive. Look at that. She's strong and resilient. Not dexterous. Good. Also. Very good. Now we are just fucking clean up operation, basically. Oh my god, they're fucking up all missing. Shit. Take it out of the sky. One of these guys is a fucking... He's a storm king. Not the C 
Sea Orb. Ah, motherfucker. Actually, yes. Oh, yes, the fucking swim guy. The gold power. Unlimited. But, but how could this be happening to me? Who was that? Idiot? <clears throat> I think he's out of cash. Oh, I think he has enough income to spend. Wait, they have time.
Come on, boys, follow me. Oh no, he's dead. to hit twice. At last, we have freed the merfolk. Go back to the ocean and live in peace. My lord, you may need some help with us who have who have skill in the sea in the future. We would like to come with you and offer our help. We now recruit noble merfolk. Now, where's Delphi? I hope he's safe. I am perfectly safe. There you are. I am so glad you are right. Now we may have a little rest. I'm afraid there's no time for rest, Conrad. Ashra has laid siege to Elfrindred, uh, breaking the century-old treaty between Westhoff and the Erlsen, or Erlsen city-state. The city falls, there is no telling how many other lands she will swallow up. Oh no! What shall we do? You must lead your men to the city. Help defend it or recapture it before it falls. Before it arrives. I must do that, but what about you, Delphidor? You're coming with you, right? I'm afraid not gone, Brad. I have come across some important documents, and I must make haste with them to the Elven Council. It seems that the time to stop Arshrin is shorter than I thought. But Delphidor, I can't do it somehow. On your own, my lord, we are your loyal soldiers. We will support you. You will prevail. I have faith in you. Head north. Elsfred is but three days travel if you make haste. Very well. But how do I get there? Ah. So. I get shipwrecked if I go this way. And I get panned. This isn't a terrible idea, considering they are chaotic. I've done this one way too many fucking times. So, we're gonna go by ship and get ourselves, uh, fucking dicked on. But the voyage did not go as smoothly as hoped. As soon as the storm blew and bore down the ship, they all, all hands on deck were popularly desperate. A sudden gust of wind flung Kron out of board as he attempted to secure the sail. The more folk finally saved Connor from the sea, but he's unable to get him back to the ship. By dint of great effort, they reached a nearby island. Yeah, so you can usually march, or you can get to the Three Sisters. Oof, I survived. Where am I? Is this island inhabited? We've only heard the worst thing about this place, my lord. It is said that the legions of the undead have come in great number and devastated the island into an ugly wasteland. Let us hope the rumors are not true. I have none of my men or gold with me. How can I defend myself? There are still some bands of humans hiding on the island, my lord. If you recruit some of them to help, we might hope some might have some hope of holding off the undead hordes. Maybe you can make a deal. Help us defeat the evil creatures, and you may use our gold reserves to lead us. Okay. Defeat all enemy leaders, or resist until the end of turns 26. Just one dude. Oh, no, there's two dudes. Holy fuck. Okay. okay I can recruit my Murpho. Recruit foot pads. I can't. Long motherfucker. How much gold do they actually have? 
Oh, actually, not that much. There's some ancient tables in South Foot. I'm wondering what's inside. I guess we'll go fucking see. Not the ghosts. Right, I need to spawn some fucking foot passes. So I can't get a thug. There's something hiding in the temple. What the fuck? Mordred. I was hiding in this holy place planning on how to defeat the evil undead. Now with your help, I can destroy them. Join us, wise one, and we welcome your aid. If we eradicate the undead blight from this island, I surely will go with you. Otherwise, I must finish my task here before moving on. It looks like there's still in this time. Surprise! Searching for a magi and getting all the human fools. Well, I'm gonna burn one of my motherfucking things, because I'm not dealing with that shit tonight. Okay. I need to go back over here. Village. Foot pad, another foot pad. <laughs> My god, they really don't like it. Holy fuck. Burn another one of my things I have this for this mission, so now I'm down to three. There is a reason you have these. In the situations like this. Very good. You will die if you do that. Legitimately need to hit like all of their attacks. <laughs> I guess that works. Kick his ass. There we go. Alright, foot pad, go.
And the reason you recruit foot pads is because they're actually pretty fucking fast. Eleven, he gets five, so we can recruit one guy to next turn. Damn, she got him. She's loyal and intelligent, so she probably should be made free. Follow them up. It's like, do I want to investigate the temple now? Let's fucking do it here.
was actually very good. They really don't like him. Loyal thugs, so that actually means this one is a loyal person. Okay, I'm gonna save. And we're gonna go see what the fuck is in that temple and actually kill it and see if it does anything. If it doesn't, I will simply just reload here and finish this mission early because this is Battle for West Off and this is not getting any fucking done. Quite literally. Wow, he came out of his fucking. Okay, this is just a test anyway. I want to see if I can kill him. Nope, nothing? Alright. Very well then, we shall simply go down south and kill him. Well, I'm referring to Or not. Actually, my fucking survive.
not going to attack him because I want that actual man to No, not my thug. I got one more reload for this mission. Let's not fuck this up again. Oh, someone's dying. I don't know. Who to no. Oh, he fucking survived. Holy shit. That was my last reload, so fuck it. He's dead either way. Ugh! <laughs> 
All my fucking foot pads are dead. Uh, we have rescue control from the island, from the evil undead. Now all we have to do is wait for the ship to arrive so we can make our way to Elsehor. Thank goodness we have found you, sir. Come aboard quickly, we should take you away from this horrible land. Together we have vanquished the foul undead. Come, I will join you on your noble quest. You regain your lost troops and 162 gold. Party arrived at Elfin at last, but they found the city has fallen to savage orcs. My lord, it seems the city has already fallen. That's terrible news. We must retake the city. There are so many of them. This will not be easy. And look, north. It seems the undead are allied with the orcs. Here come the elves. Our newly forged alliance with the orcs will give us power to crush them with ease. We must retake. We must take the city and destroy the evil undead before we. <laughs> All right. Let's get this. I still recruit. Oh. Ooh. I can get the poachers. It will be good and useful for this fight specifically. Check how much gold they have. Well, okay, so they're not actually about to help me.
They should be able to heal that poison actually next turn, so we're fucking fine there. As night begins to fall, three dark figures crept out of the forest. Halt! Who goes there? Friend or foe? Greetings, friend. We are from Elsendor Thieves Guild. We would like to help you against the orcs. Hmm. Thieves? Hmm. Who said we can trust you? We would understand if you don't trust us all, of course. But if our mutual interest to rid you of the city. Very well, you may join us. We will serve you, for we respect the help and you are providing our city. We shall find a thorough order among thieves. Yes, but are you, where is your fighting force? How can we assist us? We survive by stealth. We can help you sneak into the city around the orcs. Alternatively, you can lay in wait and you give us a signal to ambush the orcs in the rear. Very well. Raise red banner over any building in the city proper. We will signal for the seek. Agree, but we will be able to see our flag. Yes, we prefer to fight in the dark. Pray you do not lead us to slaughter. Do not fear, friends. There are, will be many slaughters here, but the orcish blood stains. We can now recruit these. Alright, so there goes one. I'm gonna sacrifice this dog. Kicked his ass. Wow, look at that. Let's go, Conrad. Let's go. That man in the water is dead, but he died. We're filling his purpose. Or not. Jesus, fuck. Let's reload that. I have five. Now I'm at four. This is the part of the game where you need to start keeping your fucking guys alive. As best you can, of course. Because it's just gonna have to get a lot fucking harder. Heal them, you go there and heal them. Skeleton. Eat the shirt. Oh. Oh. 
may ask why I'm being very overly fucking cautious here. Is because I need to kill these fuckheads. On next turn. Get the advantage of the battle. God, no, he was fucking dead either way. Coach is probably dead. God damn it. This is West Off people are gonna die. <laughs> the banner raises sound across the herd to say. It's not actually that good. Down to three reloads. Okay. Let's try this bullshit again. We're down to two reloads. This bullshit again. Let's see if this goes fucking slightly better or not. Thug's dead. He's dead. Six more casualties. At least in theory. Oh! <laughs> 
One reload left now. Fucking Christ, guys. Oh no, not the poacher. goes to draw. At best, they will delay the enemy until we can pick up. <coughs> Dead. <coughs> oh. oh, we gotta reload. I'm fucking DOA. Sometimes West off. Fuck this. One hit, so let's see if I die. Uh, uh, Reloading again. Uh, Welcome to West. God. I already know I broke my fucking limit, but it, it's either you kill this guy or uh, fucking lose. It's not a. Spawn them in, and then you're gonna over here and you're gonna back 
backstab this man. Here, here, here. Pray to God at this point. Pray to Jesus. This guy's dead either way. He's dead. these fucking odds. It's not good. Fucking no This is just possible, but he has to hit twice, which he's not going to. <laughs> Fuck it, let's try. That's a mess. How many fucking people have we lost already? Probably a fuck ton. Now 
Ash is going to get injured. Right now. Yeah, I don't think this is possible. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is one of the harder missions of this campaign. <sighs> I need to check on people I already lost. Because when you lose this many fucking experience, people get very. At this point in the game, you're pretty fucked. Oh. Oh. He's dead too, right? <sighs> So Archer, I don't care about a captain, a writer, two horse hockey. Well, I've been playing for an hour and or two hours and twenty-two minutes, so I think that is where we are going to call it. Tonight at least. And I will come back to this uh when I am more mentally refreshed and can actually think this one through, because it's a little bit fucking hard. So if you enjoyed, leave a like. Otherwise, I shall see you people on Saturday for a video. We'll see you people later.